Hey everyone, Lensmanos here and welcome to New Age episode 30. How you all doing today? I've been trying to get through some of this uh, future pack research and I've run into another roadblock which um, I need to fix today. So today's episode was originally intended to be automating a little bit of um, applied energistics, getting a but pretty much automating that uh, crystal setup outside. Put the mobs out here or something. Uh, automating this down in the basement somehow. Uh, but I keep running out of power. Um, I had originally, you can see here, it says Quarry 2. Uh, Main Freak had the suggestion of making a uh, future pack room, which I thought was a great idea. Um, but. I decided, you know, okay, well, I'll just quarry the area where the dungeon was and hopefully we'll pick up all the stuff from there at the same time. Uh, but ran into the problem of keep running out of power. Now, this is probably running again now. The solar panel 2 isn't producing enough power to go into this battery. I'm really 100%, not 100% sure where it's all going. I've dis disabled all the other links off this. Uh, I disabled that quarry. That one over, the one over here isn't running. The power is literally not getting from here into here. Well, it is, but it's ending up in my little setup I set up down here. Uh, so I... I'm not sure why that still should not be pulling out. Well, oh. Never active. So this is probably just getting through its backlog. So I decided that um, my two little units upstairs was taking too long. So I went ahead and made this setup down here just to sort of get through some of my backlog. So, I mean, this poor iron I've got to work out another method of. But um, I've gone through all my iron now, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, I had a, had a big backlog of ores and I wanted to try and process it quickly. Uh, so I made this setup. So it's just literally nine sag mills, nine alloy smelters. And then I moved the chests that were on top of the two upstairs down here. So this one is the return chest. So things that are smelted get put back into here and get put into the AE system. And things that are coming into the the crushes and that come in here. So I haven't set all the ores up here yet, but pretty much it's out of this gold chest on green into all the sag mills. Uh, let's see if I can see this. Into all the sag mills on green. Out of all the sag mills on brown. And then into all the smelters on brown and out on blue. And then into this chest on blue. Uh, this line running over here is a um, an in on brown. So if you remember, it's coming out of here. And I've got a filter in here to put cobblestone in. Because obviously, one of the byproducts of pulverizing or sag milling your, um, your ores is cobblestone. And I was ending up with a lot of cobblestone dropping into these things. I probably need to put these onto round robin too at the moment, but that's something we'll maybe do in another I'll do off camera. Uh, but basically the cobblestone was backing up the system up there, so I've just made it dump into here. Filter, priority of one. So cobblestone will always go here first and go into the trash. Uh, in this export bus, I have loamy dirt and mud balls because that's what my quarry started picking up when I first put it in. Um, oh, one more explanation down here. Uh, in this here, we've got two capacity cards to give me the ability to push nine items in. I've got a fuzzy card, which will, if you look in the chest here, we've got industrial craft copper ore, we've got immersive engineering copper ore, uh, mechanism copper ore. So there's lots of different uh, in this pack it, it hasn't been condensed down to one type of ore and that's just because I've been playing this pack for so long and there's been a few iterations of mods being added and removed etc. So um, we've got a few different types of ore. So I just put the fuzzy card in there um, to enable it to be a bit smarter about what ores it puts in. An acceleration card just speeds up input into there and there's another acceleration card in here too um, with the capacity cards as well so I can export nine items in. Uh, so the only other thing that I made an ender chest that comes from quarry 2 
and just direct imports into the system. Um, I did start building out a room down here which was originally intended to be the the future pack room uh, but I'm going to repurpose it and I'm, I'll move the future pack room somewhere else. It is the similar size to what Main Freak was talking about. I think he wanted 12 by 12 by 5. I still need to um, do a little bit of work in here but I'm, I'm not sure whether to to use it for today's thing and if you if you're astute you would have seen what was in my um, JEI um, window there before and what mod I'm probably going to do next so it's a nice big room I am going to dig the floor out again but I think it's looking kind of nice down here I do want to should be able to go up a couple of levels here should be able to go to the five high like main freak wanted. But uh, the intention of today is to sort out the power problem. So this still isn't going up, and I'm not using power anywhere. I don't know if it's a bug. Um, I mean, these are set to in out. Uh, it seems like the you can see here the power's fluctuating. I I, I don't know whether it's the conduits because the conduits should be able to handle 64,000 RF because Main Freak did tweak it, but um, not 100% sure whether that's working. Now I could probably test. Future Pack has some cables. It was something that I um I unlocked during my research. This is Future Pack cables. I don't know if they transmit RF. Doesn't seem to. Wow. I think they're just for neon energy. Thought I'd give it a look. Uh, I mean, there are. I could probably look at mechanism. Mechanism cables. There should be something in here. Should be basic. Basic universal cables. Um, I mean, I could. Could try and make some of these universal. What have we got? I don't think I've got enough. Oh, I do. Let's see if I can just make some of this and see what it does. Let's go here. Is that putting power in there? I think it actually is. That's what's that's what's scary is that we are we are pulling power out. It is it is working, but I'm just drawing it out faster than I could put it in. So these things are all full. I honestly don't know where that power is going. I really don't. This should be producing enough to keep us going. Anyway, so part of this episode will be. Um, doing advanced generators. So I want to set up uh, an advanced generator. So if you haven't seen these before, I, I did play with them back in oh my modular mayhem series, which was probably over a year ago. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a while since I did modular mayhem. Uh, let's get rid of some of this junk. Basalt will be needed eventually for a floor. But what I want to get into is this. And to do this, we're going to um, just make a gas turbine. Um, now, if you look here, when you hover over the gas turbine controller, which will require a few parts, we're going to require some iron frames, some redstone iron wiring, some control circuits. All of this stuff is fairly easy to craft. Um, but I'm going to need one of these. So as, if you read through the list, um, you need one of these, and then you can have up to 50 turbines. If you see they're written in their list, you've got... Redstone control module, so you can obviously control it by redstone. Uh, machine data ports, I believe it can push out to like computer craft, etc. Power emitter, mo emitter modules, so this can have multiple power outputs. So the mod itself has the ability to put out uh, flux. It can put out, this is uh, industrial craft, low, medium, high, extreme, and insane voltages. And then we've got a Tesla generator, a forge energy emitter, um, and I think that's it. So there are all the different types of power that can be pushed out. And then you've got a fuel air mixer which can 
proves your 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 fuel usage. You've got gas mix compressors. You've got all sorts of stuff. Fuel tanks. Um, so as a minimum, we're going to need one of these. So let's get some of those redstone things. Let's get some of these ones. And I'm going to need a, a good number of these. So I'm just going to grab a stack. I've got tons of iron. We should be fine. So I need one of these. And then let's make a gas turbine controller. Uh, next step will be let's make a flux generator. So I'm going to require one of these. We're just going to require some pistons. Three. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. A bunch. Because I seem to be using a lot of pistons. Uh, one of them. And then we want this. So that's our output. Uh, we are going to require a fluid intake valve. So I'm going to run this on, at this point, liquefacted coal. Uh, and the reason I'm going to run it on liquefacted coal and not its own um, syngas is, did some of the calculations, syngas requires heat to produce steam and then it uses the steam and carbon from the coal to produce syngas at a rate of, I think it's 10 millibuckets of steam, 50 carbon, and it produces one millibucket of syngas. Now, 50 carbon, you, from a piece of coal, you get 1,600. So that ends up being about, I don't know, 30-something millibuckets from a piece of coal. Uh, with liquefacted coal, you're going to get 1,000 RF a tick, and it gives you, for each coal, it gives you, I think, 100 millibuckets of liquefactor coal. So I think we're going to go with that setup. And we'll get to that after we've built, built, the, uh, built the generator. Uh, so we're going to need fuel tanks. Let's get, we've got new, got new glass panes. Um, I want to get probably three fuel tanks. Um, heating chamber, no. Fuel tank. Fuel tank control module. Fuel air mixer, which is going to require a pressure valve. Cool. And then the gas mix compressor, these things here, which I'm hoping. Alright, so I'm going to need to get a bunch of vibrant alloy, which is fine. But I don't have enough uh, ender pearls yet. So this is something. We will work towards this just in, improves your efficiency basically so fairly straightforward eight vibrant alloy one pressure valve gives us the advanced pressure valve and then we can make oops make this so we need two of them so we're going to need 16 ender pearls i don't think i've got 16 ender pearls i think i'm hovering around the six or something i know three look at that less than i even considered the next thing we need in this is if you look here there's all these different turbines. So we've got Endarium, and what's cool about this is it's it's multi-mod enabled. So we've got Endarium, so if you wanted to make an Endarium one, you need Endarium ingots and turbine blades. Turbine blades are like this, so it needs a lot of whatever material you decide to use. Um, but you can see here this uses, uh, the, this produces 500 RF tick. We've got a steel one, it produces 200. We've got gold, which produces 150. Bronze, Produces 200. Uh, Manamana or Manyelin, however you want to pronounce it, is 500. Iron gives you 100, and then we've got this vibrant, which gives 500 as well. An advanced alloy, which I believe is yeah, advanced alloys from industrial crafts. So we're not nowhere near that. Um, for the moment, I think I'm gonna I think it's bronze is the best starting point because bronze is fairly easy to come by. So let's, we need to make one of these, or we need to make a few of these because we really do need a lot of power. Um, so if we can make a bunch of bronze, I'm not sure what we've got in the way of bronze at the moment. Let's have a look. Bronze. I have a block and some and seven. So let's just turn that into ingots. And that's going to give me four. This is going to give me enough to make one 
<laughs> uh, what's the recipe for bronze in this pack? Ooh. Nuggets. Is that it? Is that the only one I've got? Wow. No copper and tin. Copper. Tin in a... Mm, out of power. <laughs> uh, copper and tin in sag mill? In a, sorry, alloy smelter maybe? Let's have a look. Copper tin. No, it's going to work. It just doesn't tell us. Maybe it's just that bronze. Uh, so it's recipe. Bronze dust. Okay, I just wasn't sure if we had a... I mean, we can check in here. Copper. Tin. Oh, we do. Awesome. We'll go with that. It should have given me a stack. Cool. It's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's do this. That gives us six all up. So at 200 each, uh, we're going to produce, what, 1,200? RF a tick. So I'm going to need some more of these things, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to need some more of the iron ones. Let's grab another 16. It's probably going to need some more of the redstone ones too. Okay, so that's that. So now all we need to do is um, set it up. And I will expand this as we go because it is completely modular. Let's get rid of that. Throw them in there for now. Yeah, that's enough guys. Now, put them away. Uh, and I'm gonna, gonna need to run cables and stuff eventually, but I mean, it would be nice to just put it through this wall, but that's where I had intended to put the, um, the automated fluids, etc. So I won't, it, it's going in this wall, so the generator, and then we're going to have our crafting stuff here. So the generator is going in here. Um, I'm just going to start. It's, it's I'm just going to get set up because I need it. <laughs> I need power. Uh, so first things first. It's a massive room. Don't worry about walls. So let's start setting it up here. So you can right click on here and it says, oh, I need at least a turbine. So let's give it let's give it six. So this gives you the basic. Well, and I hope this hasn't crashed. It did crash. Fantastic. Give me just a second. All right. So a um, little bit of an issue with the advanced generators. I've tried a couple times to um, open this interface, and it pretty much crashes me out each time so I've got to do a little bit of research into why it's crashing me out. Um, this this is kind of the basic setup. I've, I've put the three tanks in, I've, I've put the fluid intake and the, the power output on it. Um, what I'm going to work on now instead is I'm going to work on, I probably don't want the fluid intake there. Um, let's let's move that, this hopefully doesn't crash the thing out. Uh, eventually yeah, let's put it there. The idea is I will build this up with um, with other blocks. So there, that other thing that I need to make will go here, and then we'll be able to put some more turbines on top. Uh, but what I want to work on now is is the the coal. And worst case, I will switch over to using thermal expansion to produce the power uh, because it'll make um, a fair bit of RF out of liquefacted coal. So to make liquefacted coal, liquef... How do I spell it? It's terrible. Do, 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 do. Liquid carbon. No. Coal. Where's it gone? Coal. Let's go with that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This fluid cell full of liquefacted coal. All right. So this one here. 
uh, basically, to make liquefacted coal, we require pulverized coal in a magma crucible. So obviously, if we make a pulverizer and a magma crucible, and then we can produce it that way. So let's go make a pulverizer. And it, literally, this is like the, the fourth, fifth attempt at reloading the game to um, get it all working again. So... Thermal. Uh, let's see. Pulverizer. We'll make tin gear somewhere here. Really? Is that the. Okay, maybe that'll work. Cool. My machine frame. Uh, we're going to need a couple of copper gears. One of these. And obviously this is going to require power too to start. Um, and yeah, so we're going to need to run power wise down there. But once once we kick it off, um, it should be all right. We might be able to hook up some um, some further cabling and stuff. Uh, the game is lagging a little bit, and that's because I tried to remove one of the mods that was helping with some of the lag. So. Potentially, I may need to stop <laughs> recording and go back and re-add that mod and just forget about the events generated for the moment. But this is is a bit of a pain, really. Let's make another one of these machine frames. Do, do, do. Yep, I'm going to have to do that. So, um, give me one second. I'll, uh, well, for you guys it's a second. For me, it's... It's a good five minutes um, just to quit out and then reload back in because this, this as you can see, is basically unplayable. Uh, so give me a second. Uh, we'll cut here and I'll be back with hopefully less lag. I'll be right back. All right. Hopefully things are a little better now. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that this isn't the uh, beginning of the end for the pack. It really is... Starting to cause me some grief, um, and just I don't know. It, it it it's just being a little annoying. Oh, it'll it'll work itself out. I'll fix the problem somehow. Uh, silver? Do I have some silver? Yes, I do. Thank you. I don't have a lot of silver though. That's um, fairly interesting. I don't have a lot of silver. Uh, so we were making a magma crucible. So we need one of them. We need a couple of invar gears. Do I have any invar? No. So that is iron and ferrous, I believe. Ferrous. Oh, that's interesting. Nickel? Nickel. Should be two, two iron and a nickel. Correct? Okay, yep, cool. So. Let's grab a couple of a couple of them. All right, that'll give us enough to make two of them that we need, and I'll, I'll probably need some more. What am I missing in the middle? I'm missing one of these. Cool. I'm probably going to run out of power soon, now, Milo. It's night time. Yeah, I'm out of power. Let's sleep, and then we'll go down and set this up. Um, right, so the idea is that we want to pulverize coal, and then output it. Put that way too far into the wall. Way too far. There's meant to be a wall here. Oh, I keep doing this. I keep, I keep moving things. Um... Oh, whatever. That's not where I want it. Oh, look, the, the light thing is there. Uh, took my thing out. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, so let's just see what we can do here. We want magma cruise for pulverizer. I'm going to have to break that and then come back here a little bit. Try and get it to place somewhere that I don't need it. Cool. 
so we'll go pulverizer and magma crucible. We will set this up so that it's um, in, out. And this will be in, out. All right. So the idea is coal in um, and then liquid out. We're going to need some fluid conduits of some description. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything in this yet. So let's head on up. Um, conduit. I want end of fluid conduits, but I just, I don't know. Uh, let's try pressurize. We need some fused quartz. Marble. Grabs three of these and like throw them in there and see what happens. Um, and then we want conduits. Cool. Excellent. I've got one energy conduit. That's not going to work. I need some more. I think I've got some more things in here. Cool. All right. Let's have a look. Uh, again, I need. To work out if this is going to work, but that we'll put that there for the moment. Um, to give this a kickstart, what I want to do is get a generator. What have we got in the way of generators? Generator. Um, does it require a furnace generator? Need a chest. Chest. Or machine box. Alright, that's a furnace generator. We'll just start with that. Let's grab some coal. If I plop him down here and then put a little bit of coal in him, will he transfer power? Yep, if I put coal in here, and it's slow at the moment, we can upgrade these soon. But I just want to see if this will work. This, this, honestly, this is really me testing. Um, so that's turned into pulverized coal. This has no power yet, so let's give this. A little bit more of that. That's almost full of power and then it hopefully will start doing it here. Okay, so this is now melting, I guess. Um, this could crash the game. <laughs> it really could crash the game. Because <laughs> I don't know if this works. Um, the, so the other option is... Um, what is it? Dynamo. We have the compression dynamo, which will require a fluid, fuel, and coolant. So water's coolant. Uh, this is quite easy. Tin, iron. Let's go make one of these just because I really don't know if this is just going to completely, completely die if I do this. So let's have a bit of a look. Um, I want a compression dynamo. It's going to require a couple of tin gears. Okay. A couple of tin gears. It's going to require transmission coil. All right, compression dynamo. We're also going to need water. Um, water. Oh, wow. <laughs> Back in the tick. Alrighty. I'm back from another crash. So this will be, I've only got a couple of minutes left actually. I think I'm almost over time now. Uh, I made a liquid transfer node and I'm going to put a, a mining upgrade in it. Just one for now. It, it's not going to be enough to keep going, but um, the intention is just to get some water into this thing, some cooling. Um, again, I will speed that up 
but eventually we'll have probably a couple more of these because I've, I've taken the you can see I've taken the um, the advanced generator out. I'm not sure if that's what's causing the problem, but I've had nothing but trouble when I since I've tried to do it. So we're just going to go with this for now, the compression dynamo. Uh, my idea is to hook this into the back, and then for the moment I'm just going to turn off. Set this to insert. Please tell me you will insert. Oh, duh. Helps if I um. Can I do it with this wrench, or do I need to go and get a yellow wrench? Wow. Um. This is ridiculous sometimes. I mean, I don't have enough coal in there. Let's just throw some coal in. Have that. Fly, please. Do I not have enough GP? I should have. No, I don't. It's using 16. Oh. Oh. Do you use GP? Really? Oh, I'm going to have to expand my water. That's alright. Good thing I built the elevator. Uh, just quickly... Yet, uh, I don't think I made one. Probably have. I don't know where it is. Today has made me consider ditching this pack now, which is terrible. Um, alright, so what does this put out? Please tell me this works. Compression dynamo. Compression dynamo. All right. Lick with active coal. Should be a few. Maybe I've got this wrong. Alright, I give up. That's it. It's over. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to work on this. I, I'm guessing liquefactor coal isn't a fuel. Is that correct? Should I be turning it into something else? Um, I always thought that... Okay, so what is liquefactor coal used for? Compression dynamo. 500,000 RF in a compression dynamo. Oh, I need a bucket of it in there first, maybe? Before it'll kick in? Does, does that sound about right? It's probably out of power now. Um, perhaps that's the issue. Need to have a bucket worth in there before it will run. So, kind of want to. No, I do have enough. Maybe. Kind of want to just set this up to be a. Um, a, a its own circuit for the moment. So, once we get power coming out of it. Okay. Whoa. Is that coming from here? It's putting out 40 RF a tick. It's outputting 40 RF a tick. This is filling up. Looks like we are running. It just doesn't seem to be getting anything in the center here. Alright. Well, I guess that's that's working. So I'll need to get some more of these and some more of these um, conduits. But it's putting out 40,000. Uh, 40,000. 40 hour for tick. And if I produce a whole bunch of them and make a big engine under here, that'll that'll get us going. I am a bit disappointed because I wanted to use that um, advanced generator. I'll have a bit of a play with it in between episodes, but this um, this is just something basic I'll, I'll get set up with. 
I shouldn't need this anymore. Now that it's kick-started, we should be able to let this one die out. And this should have enough power, I hope, to um, continue this running. So, wrap up here. It's been a bit of a failed episode. I'm um, going to potentially look at maybe changing packs here. Uh, this, this has become unstable, so I'll, I'll look into it. Um, but yeah, comments in the section below. Tell me how derpy I've done this and whether this is worth it. Um, maybe once I get a bigger bigger one here, or upgraded or something, it'll be better. Alright, thanks everyone. See you later. Alright, just as a quick wrap up. Um, I threw this all back down. I haven't opened the interface and I don't plan on opening the interface, but it is working. You can see there on the tooltip, I've got 100,000 RF in there. Um, so I need to put some more battery storage in here, but um, the reason this wasn't working is I had it turned off. So when you turn it on, it'll actually run. <laughs> Um, control status enabled so you can see here I had it off basically and I was wondering why it wasn't working um, so it does work, it does produce and it's got 12,000 in it now but this has is running um, so potentially I'll leave it as it is or I'll maybe move some stuff around but this is working and I'll try and hook it up to the main base because this has got to be a way of running not, this isn't needed anymore, but I need to get rid of it because it, it's using all my grid power. Get out. Uh, actually, I think it's this that's using all the grid power. Hey, I can fly again. Um, so, yeah, just to wrap it up, this does work. I'm just not going to open the interface, so I can't show you it running. Um, maybe, maybe there'll be an update or there's some other mod that I've updated because I've updated a bunch of mods trying to get this working. Um, Maybe something else has, has fixed the problem, but for now, it's running. I'll connect it up to the base. Hopefully, we'll have power. Anyway, thanks again. See you later.